Hello and welcome to this CoolEd tutorial video. In this video, we will be showing you how to set up and control the PE800 in Nikon's NIS Elements software using just a USB connection. First of all, it is important to make sure that you have the correct version of NIS Elements. You will require version 5.30.01 or later. If you are using version 5.30.01, then you must download a patch from the CoolEd website. Any later versions will not require this patch. To download the patch, you'll need to go to the CoolEd website, Support, Imaging Software, scroll down to Third Party Imaging Software and select the summary sheet for Nikon NIS elements. Under PE800, you'll be able to download the patch file itself and the patch installation guides if you require additional help. Once the patch file has been downloaded, you'll need to locate the file and extract this file to a memorable location, for example, your desktop. Once extracted, head to the destination the file has been saved to and open X64. You'll then need to copy the DLL files. These then need to be saved in the NIS Elements installation folder. The location of this folder is based on how the software was installed, but it's most likely to be found under the C drive in Program Files. Once you've found NIS Elements, scroll down to the other DLL files, right click, and paste. The CoolEd DLLs will then be copied into this folder. The next step is to turn on the PE800 and run through the NIS Elements installation setup to add the PE800 to your current version of NIS Elements. Ensure that the PE800 is connected to the power and connected to your computer via USB. You can then switch the unit on. To check that the computer has correctly recognised the PE800, you can open Device Manager. You'll find the light source under Ports as a USB serial device. Make note of the COM port that it is connected to. We'll then need to modify the installation of NIS elements in order to add in the PE800. In order to do this, go down to NIS elements and select Modify Installation. Ensure Modify is selected and then run through this setup dialog. For this setup we are using a demonstration camera so simulators is selected. When you get to devices you'll need to go down to CoolEd and tick the CoolEd P300 Ultra slash P340 Fura. In later versions of NIS Elements this will display as the CoolEd PE800. Then click Next. Once this is complete, you are now ready to run NIS Elements. Once NIS has loaded, you'll first need to head to Devices and select Device Manager. Here we will need to add the P800 under Devices.
Ensure that the COM port is the same as you saw earlier under Device Manager, and then click Connect. You can see here that the PE800 has been recognised. We'll then set the light path selection to Episcopic FI3, which is the simulation camera that we are using. For this setup, we are using a manual microscope, so we do not have to worry about any automation of the filter turret. We can then click close. If we scroll down, we can see that the PE800 pad has automatically loaded under the device window. If this does not show up, click view in the toolbar, select acquisition controls, then select PE800 pad. If you simply want to go live, all you need to do is select the intensity of the wavelength you require, select the LED itself, you'll see here it is highlighted blue, scroll up, select live, and you'll see that the LED will be illuminating. Whilst you are in live, you're then able to adjust the intensity in real time and switch on additional LEDs as required. If you wish to run an experiment, you'll need to set up some optical configurations. The easiest way to do this is to first of all select the wavelength and the intensity required on the PE800 pad. For this example, I'll be setting up a DAPI channel. You can then either select Add under the acquisition window, or you can head to Calibration in the toolbar and select New Optical Configuration. First of all, you'll need to name your optical configuration. We'll be using these camera settings automatically applied. The channel setup name will update in line with what you've typed in the initial name box. And if you wish, you can adjust the emission and the colour manually. Set the active shutter to PE800. And you will see here that the excitation wavelength and power is set as you previously defined on the 800 pad. Once you're happy with everything, you can then select Finish. You'll notice that a DAPI icon appears on the toolbar. Here you can select DAPI, go live. and the 400 nanometer LED will illuminate. If you wish to run a multi-channel experiment, you'll need to add some additional optical configurations in the same way that we just set up the DAPI channel. Here we will add in a GFP channel. Click Add, change the name to GFP, Ensure that the active shutter is set to PE800 shutter. And you'll see here that the LED has changed to the 470 and the power has updated too. Once you're happy with these settings, select Finish. You'll see that GFP now has also appeared in the toolbar. It's also possible to have more than one LED illuminating in one configuration. For this example, we'll have 470, 550, and 635. Adjust the intensities. And then click Add. You'll see that the three LEDs have been added with the appropriate powers. Again, name your setting. Ensure that the correct shutter is selected and select Finish. Once you are happy with your optical configurations, you are now ready to run an experiment. To do this, click on ND Acquire. 
Here you can select the file name and the location under which you wish your images to be saved. As we are using a manual microscope, multipoint and Z stack options are not enabled. First select time lapse and add in your interval parameters. Then select multi-channel and here is where you add your optical configurations. You can change the optical configuration by selecting on the three dots. Here you can also add in new optical configurations. For this experiment, we will stick with DF, GFP and DAPI. Once you're ready, you then click run and your experiment will begin. As we are using a simulation camera, we have a simulation image, but this is where you would see the image of your sample. You can then continue to run more experiments. Once you have finished, you can simply close the NIS Elements software. When you reopen the software, your settings will automatically load. You can see this by your settings loading in the toolbar. Thank you for watching this Cooler tutorial video. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to get in touch.